We've been in the studio about 15 years now, I think, maybe even almost 20 years, I forget. Um, it was a set of derelict buildings, and they, it had been the oldest builder's merchant in Hammersmith. I'll be working on this today, and it's a corridor, and these are the side walls of the corridor, and these are reflections of the door. But it's one of those strange, almost sterile spaces um, where you can't really tell what's going on. It's so polished that you could mistake it for a dream. Spray it and then pull the masking off. What's a pity, though, is that I'm actually spraying white on top of white, so... <laughs> Once I've got the structure sorted out in my own mind and on paper, I will hand it over to an assistant who will then make a computer-based drawing. The computer-based drawing is because we want to create cutting files on a machine which we can look at later and it cuts with such precision that it enables me to do things I wouldn't otherwise be able to do. There we are, and that's complete. Uh, these lines are virtually invisible, but this has been cut so that we can then start the weeding process. I use the outside world as inspiration and at particular places as objects of meditation and reflection. But really, all of these spaces are recreated in the studio. I use plans, elevations, I remember the experience of having visited and I spend a lot of time taking photographs. But essentially, I reconstruct that space with new rules within the studio. I think that I am lucky enough to afford to get the time to spend in my studio making these pieces. And it's time that a lot of people aren't lucky enough to have. And some of the questions that I'm asking are common questions. It's about putting your feet on the ground. It's about finding out who you are. It's about finding a moment of peace and equilibrium in a chaotic world.